<laughs> Howdy everyone, Holly from Enjoy the Journey Dog Training with Handsome Bruno here. And we're gonna go ahead and continue from our e-collar mechanics video where he helped us unpack all the components and go over all the buttons and mechanics and get him fitted. Um, I like to have my dog in a nice calm state of mind, so he's been doing some place duration. We did a few drills as well just to get him in thinking mode. Notice there's no other dogs in the room, the house is quiet. I want this to be a nice sterile environment for him to really consider what is communicating with him, which is gonna be the muscle stimulation. Just another form of pressure on, pressure off, just like he's used to with his prong collar. We've been using it with spatial pressure, with body language, with the food lures, all the same concept of pressure on and pressure off. We're just now gonna transfer that understanding to the e-collar so he can really go leashless and have an awesome adventure filled life with his mom. Um, I do have the prong collar on so that we can have some directional communication if need be. Um, this is getting his pre-dinner silly, so we're gonna try and wrap this up for him. First thing we wanna do is again, make sure that you've got your e-collar turned on. We're gonna pair with the red dot, red dot, those are magnets, to turn on the receiver. Now we got a green light. Gonna push the button on the back of the remote to turn on the remote. There we go. I like to make sure I set the remote aside so I don't accidentally, accidentally swipe it and unpair it. Remember the e-collar is a whisper of communication. It is, um, one of the least aversive tools that we can use as far as uh, comparing it with force or, uh, or, or, or the amount of pressure required. While this does go zero to 100, dogs again are very perceptive and they usually work at a much lower level than you and I can even perceive. We're, we're a little uh, too, um, too distracted. They're much more perceptive. So we're gonna go and get him fitted and then we're gonna find his perception level and that's the lowest level that he can sense it. Um, I want to see that he feels it and then decides to do something about it. So we're gonna go through that once we get him fit. So the first thing we do is we wanna make sure we have a nice snug fit. Let me see if I can get him to sit. Come on Bruno, let's go, sit, yes. Um, I always have the prong collar up in the highest position, especially when we're on a walk, so that's your directional guidance. Then we'll have an e-collar. And then if he were wearing one, his flat buckle collar with his name tag, we could use that as a backup with our, our strap. So um, this one has the bungee and just a regular short contact points. It's not a toy, please. Once your dog gets used to wearing this, like a good pair of shoes, he's gonna always wanna put it on. And if you wanna communicate with your dog, you have to have your tools on. No pre-dinner mouths. So we're gonna go ahead and get the contact points nice and snug on the side muscle there. I've got the, I like to try and set the bungee kind of closer to his trachea. Again, you're gonna think it looks too snug, but it's gonna be just right. We don't want this rotating. That's how we can tell that it's a nice fit is it stays in contact with that muscle. Again, we're gonna rotate it every three or four hours to prevent a um, pressure sore. Unlike the prong collar that we want loose enough where we can rotate it, okay, and swivel it around his head, we do not want the e-collar to be able to swivel, okay? The bungee gives just enough flex, especially if he were to puff up because he's excited or warm or anything like that. Again, nice snug fit. Just to get this little excess strap out of the way, which once we've had a couple of days of fitting under our belt, we'll probably trim. Since he's full grown, if your dog's not full grown, don't trim it yet, or you'll have to buy another one. Okay, so we'll just make him a cute little bow tie. There we go. So nice and snug fit. Again, we make an e-collar sandwich. We'll have prong collar, e-collar, and then if he were wearing one, his flat buckle collar for backup. We're inside, so we're not going on a walk, and we don't need that just yet. You bad dog. You're on e-collar now. Mm-hmm. Kettle, go. Oh, it's locked. I'm so sorry. Kennel. 